Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a lot of news starting off with Apple's announcement of the new iPhone 12 series. Now, Apple made a big deal when talking about 5G. They partnered with Verizon and they are calling it the real 5G because according to them, now that iPhone has it, 5G is better. Now, of course, we all know this is not true. 5G has been out for one year now. It was first announced on 2018 and we saw the first device with 5G on 2019 with the release of the Galaxy S10 5G, the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 are very similar devices to last year's iPhone 11. Minor upgrades in the camera department displays are now OLED displays and they have slightly slimmer bezels compared to the iPhone 11. iPhone 12 mini is powered by the Apple A14 Bionic chip and its price is $699 while the direct successor to the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 is priced at $799. So a price hike of $100 for 5G and a new OLED display at 60 Hertz. Now, iPhone 12 Pro series brings more improvements into camera department, better low light performance, according to Apple in all three camera lenses, ultra wide, wide and telephoto camera. Price of iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max are the same in the US compared to the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. However, I learned today that in other countries like India, the iPhone 12 mini is priced at $950, while the iPhone 12 Pro Max 5G base model is priced at $1770. In India, $1770 for the iPhone 12 Pro Max in India, while the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in India cost $1,300. So in, in all markets like India, the price difference is of almost $500 for a phone that is not superior to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in any way. Going to other news, we have seen a lot of Huawei leaks. And now that we're getting close to the announcement of the Huawei Mate 40 series, we today saw a leaked benchmark of the current 9000 processor, which is the processor powering the Huawei Mate 40 series. And from these leaked benchmarks, the current 9000 is basically just as fast as the mid-range Exynos 1080. As we know, because of all of the bands that Huawei has suffered in the US and the companies, they have not been able to use their newer Cortex-A78 or newer technology. So what Huawei did was to overclock those cores to get it closer to 2020 chipsets. And they definitely achieved that with basically the current 9000 being five points more than the Exynos 1080. Not the best performance, but a big improvement over the current 990. Now going to Samsung news. Yesterday we saw a leak that Samsung is already working on the Samsung Galaxy A02 and Galaxy M02. Basically both of these devices are expected to be identical to each other. And according to this leak, Galaxy A02 will come with two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and will be powered by the Snapdragon 450 processor, similar to the Galaxy A01 and a 13 megapixel main camera, two megapixel depth sensor, and an eight megapixel selfie camera, along with a 3,500 mAh battery. Price of the Galaxy A01 is expected to be $130, while the price of the Galaxy M02 is expected to be $99. So very low end devices, both powered by the Snapdragon 450, is a very good chipset for the price of $99. And it is a big improvement compared to this year's Galaxy A01. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you in my upcoming video.